Hello and welcome back. Today we'll be making a souffle, ideally before the sun sets. It hours later. The sun beaters. We'll also try and remember not to change outfits halfway through the day. Let's begin! <laughs> Gordon, can you slow down a bit please? How am I supposed to keep up with this? <laughs> ah! There we go. Souffle. I forgot you were coming. We're gonna make a banana and passion fruit souffle. Almost like a, a thick custard. So this is a good start. I've never made custard, but I'm sure we'll, we can, we'll work it out together. 150 of milk. I'm not measuring. Um, back in it goes. Wait, no, that was fine. No, wait. Is it 200? It's 150, isn't it? I have a master's degree in, in analytical chemistry here. And then 100 cream. So that means we need to go up to 250. I used to teach maths. And 100 cream. Same cream as Gordon. I always buy... Elmily. Into the pan. Should it, should it be making that noise? So we're going to totally ruin our cream. Three egg yolks. Give it another wipe. It's full of oil and alcohol. In with the cream. Three egg yolks. Woo! One handed. Oh, I shouldn't put them in straight away. Fuck it out. Not one handed. I need another bowl. One. Uno, as they say in France. What do you know? You're Italian. We'll be saving this to make egg, egg whites later. And whisk. Sugar. Sugar. This is a tablespoon, isn't it? <laughs> Three and a half tablespoons. Pause between every sentence. And now, whisk in and whisk. You have to be very vigorous with whisking. Very light, so tender. To thicken the pastry cream, we're going to use a tablespoon of flour and half a tablespoon of corn flour. Best before December 17. Brilliant. Corn flour doesn't go off, does it? It's corn. <laughs> And that gives it body. Instructions unclear. Gave too much body. Oh, something smells. Maybe it's not the corn flour. Take your cream and your milk. There's a hair in my cream. And then you mix that through. I'm gonna add it in state. Oh! Ugh. Don't curdle eggs. I haven't got enough ingredients for this to fuck up. See, no lumps. I don't even like souffle. What we do now is just cook it out. Hot, 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 hot. And we're gonna get an action shot. <laughs> a nice, thick custard. I'm gonna leave it there. Step one, we've made a custard. You ruined it. You're fired! Fuck it up out of here! Get out! Now the filling is passion fruit banana. Now, there you go. They look quite intimidating, don't they? No. I mean, come on, Gordon. I've seen you full Goku Amanda Barry. I think you can handle a passion fruit. And they're wrinkled. That means they're nice and ripe. If you're not too sure the wrinkles, take a close look. Hmm. Take a close look. And then we're going to put them through a sieve. So we get five passion fruit. Mm. Now passion fruit is one of my favourite foods because I'm a posh bitch. We get our child snot. Oh yeah. Mm. I'm gonna be serving these to my family. So you can do this with raspberries as well. So this will take a while. Some seeds have already gone in. Ah! 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 I've got cuts all over my hands from making beef wellington. Maybe this is why Gordon Ramsay is angry all the time. You want to see my elevator routine? Wait, how does this start? <laughs> Was that worth doing? There's some seeds in here which I will just pick out. I bet you can't wait for the souffle. Half my blood, half passion fruit seeds. And that is stunning. Now, what's the next step? What is even going on? A bananas? He keeps saying bananas, but we're only using one. But it's, you know, I guess. Add fresh lemon juice in there. It's an orange. Mm. We're going to blend it now. Move this out of the way. So I'll unplug the lap. There's a lot of power cords here that I'm not happy about with my wet hands. And just blend. 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 Blend! Right, so. And now, we blend. Is it being difficult? Oh, my hands are quite sticky, I shouldn't have done this. Or the broken elevator. My bottom! I landed straight on this box. Puree! Swan dive! Voila, blended. Yeah. Look. A cube of ice in there. Cube of ice. Some fresh yogurt. Some fresh yogurt. And you've got the most amazing smoothie. That in with your pastry cream. I wasn't I wasn't supposed to do that. Well, let's start again then. The most amazing smoothie. Who would make a smoothie out of six passion fruits? <laughs> In with your pastry cream. In with your pastry cream. Now hopefully this is okay. It's been 
sitting here for quite a long time while I remade the passion fruit and banana smoothie in and mix. Here's a little mix for the audience. For the boys and girls at home, if you are younger than 15, you shouldn't be watching this because fuck. The nice thing about this particular base, it can be made two or three days before. Yeah, but. That's fucking older than me. You'd kill me if I did. Your ramekins? Ramekins, right. Uh, so we have our four ramekins. Unfortunately, because I got these off a of nondescript website, one of them is fucked, so we won't be using that. <laughs> these are quite big ramekins, so I'm not sure what's actually gonna happen, so we'll just see. All right, so we'll get some butter. 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 Keep the butter soft. If you're not too sure how soft, just touch your skin. 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 That's how soft it should be. Touch your skin? What's he talking about? Oh yeah, that, oh, that's, that's just, that's perfect. Well, now I know. We're gonna use this to butter the ramekins. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis. Now, first thing, crucial, make sure your molds are dry. You can't butter something that's wet. All my life, I've searched for a greater meaning, a way to understand the universe. And finally, I know. You can't butter something that's wet. You can't butter something that's wet. So we get our pastry brush, which we bought for this video because I'm not an old man. Oh, I'm just gonna get my brush. I have these really nice vertical strokes. Cameraman, you you get in this? Sorry, I keep calling you a man. This is my wildest dreams. If only you were a man. And it's like sort of little tram lines. Tram lines. We're gonna line them with some sugar and chocolate. <laughs> Look, it lines the inside. <laughs> There's more on the table than there is in the fucking bowl. It lines the inside. And pour into the second. For these ones, we're gonna line with sugar. I'm worried that these ramekins are too big because it might not rise under the weight of the souffle. Stick them in the fridge for five minutes so that butter solidifies. If you don't know how solid you want your butter, touch your elbow. The final part, the egg white. I'm just gonna get a little drop of lemon juice. I think me and Gordon have a very different idea on what a, a drop is. Mix it down and then on full, straight away. 50 grams of sugar. Sugar. Sprinkle. Sprinkles. Then add another spoon of sugar. A spoon of sugar. I'm sweet enough. We have no use for any of this. It's gonna make the bin look colorful. We'll just... <laughs> Always clean your work surfaces, folks. And that's FDA approved. What happens now, we get a really nice, rich meringue. I think I'm sort of moving <laughs> my hips as well. This is obviously a little bit too uh, watery. It will just go. I can't snap. Too much butter on my fingers. Trick it. Keep changing direction like pleasing a woman. You gotta confuse the Clara. Sorry, I said Clara. It'll just be my my lone hand here. Come on! <laughs> so we take a third of our egg white mixture and we put it in here. And this is where we start folding in. We're gonna fold the egg whites in. Damn delicious, my dear. I don't know what I'm doing. Get your cloth and fold it into four. Here's my time to shine. Drop the mixture in. There we are. Get the mold and just bang it at the bottom of the cloth. There's not enough mixture here. Stop. We might only have enough here for one, but that's fine. This is a big souffle. I don't think this is gonna rise. In one clean sweep, off. Get a palette knife, whatever that is. Smooth over there, there we go, nice and smooth. We need every last drop. What we want to do now is create a little ridge, because that stops the souffle from hanging over the side. Oh dear, oh dear. His is a lot firmer than mine. I'm not one for being overconfident. Gordon, overconfident? Fuck off! Never. It's fatter than you! Close the oven door and say a little prayer. I should probably put these in the oven first. My oven is so dirty you can't see inside. What do we do? <laughs> Says. Fuck Mary Berry. Let me get the hammer. Wow, piece of cake. Actually, that's a souffle. Oh God, they look fucking depressing. So they didn't work. A tablespoon of icing sugar.
The perfect love handle souffle. And there you have the perfect love handle souffle. Yeah, just don't look at them, they sunk unfortunately. Right, you want me to eat it? <laughs> like my food, please. It only took four hours to make. <laughs> it's hot, I burnt myself as well, I should have told you. That's delicious. Yeah.